My name is Christian Bradley and I'm a consultant here at Tokamak Energy. Today we've been looking at different modes of glow discharge plasma operation of the ST40. Glow discharge cleaning, GDC, is a necessary part of preparing the chamber for use um, as a plasma reactor because it cleans the surface of the chamber by bombarding it fairly gently really with helium ions. We strike a plasma in the chamber, that is to say we excite some gas um, and the gas we're using is helium and when it's excited it's a collection of positive and negative charges and by putting an electrode in the chamber with a, a high positive voltage on it we can push those positive charges over to the wall of the chamber and where they gently knock material that's stuck on the surface of the chamber off and it comes out into the gas which then gets pumped away. It's constantly being flushed through by new helium that's coming in while the old helium carrying the contamination that's come off the walls is pumped away. So I'm just going to set up the two power supplies for the glow discharge electrodes. Um, we've got the two horizontal glow discharge electrodes in operation today. What we found is we need to start them very low power because the slightest arc in the chamber can cause the plasma to go out. But if we start it at very low power we kind of tickle it into existence gradually get it kind of used to being on. That's what it feels like it needs. That might be a little anthropomorphic for a, for a plasma. What we've discovered along the way is we can do it at two very distinct pressures. One is below one millibar, which is about a thousandth of atmospheric pressure. The general colours in the chamber is a sort of whitish plasma with pinkish plasma around the electrodes themselves. And you can also notice that around every surface in the plasma, particularly the centre post is perhaps most obvious, but you see a sheath of plasma formed. The very low pressure plasma in the low 10 to the minus 4 millibar range, which is another 10,000 times lower in pressure. That had a totally different colour. That was a sort of greenish, turquoise colour, a bit like looking into the sea. Very sort of blurry view into the, into the plasma. Very much like looking into seawater, I think. The individual electrodes don't light up in the same way they, that they do at higher pressures. The plasma around them is much more diffuse. There is a little bit of a, a sort of halo to be seen, but otherwise there is just this diffuse plasma in the chamber, a bit like looking through frosted glass or something. I am certainly discovering things about the way these instruments work as I use them. And there are some basic diagnostic instruments that are also going to be tested on, on here. So this is a, a kind of testing phase of individual instruments on the ST40.